Hello everyone, I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome to the Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth. Now I'm going to be messing up the name quite a bit because there's Rebirth, Afterbirth, Afterbirth Plus, and Anti-Birth now. So you'll have to forgive me if I mess it up occasionally. But Anti-Birth is a mod for the Binding of Isaac, and a very popular one for good reason. It's been making the rounds quite a bit, and that's because it's incredibly impressive. It adds a ton of stuff. And we're going to be going through that. I've been playing this a lot in my off time as well as on stream. So I have quite a lot unlocked. I'll be able to show you quite a bit from the get-go. So let's jump right in. So instantly on the character selection screen, you're going to notice we have two new characters. Jacob and Esau as one character and Bethany as another. For this, I'm going to play Bethany because I've played less of her than I have of Jacob in that. So, uh... Yeah, this is Anti-Birth, and this is Bethany. She's quite interesting. She has an interesting gimmick that I'll get into in a bit. But we're going to just go around. I'm also playing with controller because, uh, well, I found I actually have a bit more control. You know what? Maybe I should just not ever sing my own praises ever because I guess this game just likes to shit on me all the time, which is, you know, it fits the theme, I guess. <laughs> So, Anti-Birth is a gigantic mod, to the point where people are calling it an unofficial expansion, which is pretty, pretty appropriate, honestly, because this thing adds, like, 90 new items, it adds four new whole areas to explore with new bosses and enemies, as well as a bunch of new bosses for previous areas, whole new OST, which I might add is also available for download for about $2. I highly recommend it if you enjoy it, because... Damn, that's a steal. I often listen to this music because it's just so cool. Uh, and it really fits Isaac's style. In a way, I might like it a little more than Afterbirth's music. And I do enjoy Afterbirth's music because I feel like it fits the theme of Isaac quite well. I just don't feel like it is that nice to listen to on its own. But either way, this also adds a bunch of trinkets and items and all kinds of things. Even new challenges as well. Uh, this is actually, though, a mod for Rebirth and not Afterbirth. So, as of... Oh, split shot, eh? As of right now, you will have to uninstall Afterbirth to install the mod. You can reinstall Afterbirth afterwards and play them separately. So, any progress you've made in Afterbirth won't be affected by you messing with it and installing this mod, for example. So, you don't have to worry about that because they basically are... Oh, wow! Nice! They basically are their own separate thing. So, other things you may notice, of course, the biggest thing you may notice is on the, uh, on the HUD, you'll see that we have stats to our left. Now, people who have played Isaac a lot, or have seen other people play Isaac, might know that's that stat thing from a external program called Missing HUD, I think it is? Which allowed you to see what changed in your Isaac game as you picked up items. Now, Anti-Birth actually allows you to see that by default if you want, uh, as well as show you the big items. Just with a press of a button, I can press F7, and on the right you can see what items I've picked up, and F6 hides that. But I'm going to leave it up for the, for the uh, interest of just seeing the stats, I suppose. You might be interested in seeing that. Now, as I go into this boss room, I'm going to show you what Bethany's good at. Oh, pin, nice. All right, so let's use our book, which is a very unique item. I don't know if other people can get it other than Bethany, but uh, it basically acts as a turret and defense. So it has two hits. The first one, oh, wow. The first one will make it smaller slightly, and then the second one will fully get rid of the, the fire. While it's out, it acts as a turret as well. Uh, and uses only two rooms to clear to be able to get it back. So it's pretty effective, and you can stack it to... Well, I don't know how many times, actually. I don't think i found a limit yet. So it's pretty good, honestly. Hopefully I'm going to defeat Pin. Now, Bethany has a very interesting gimmick in the fact that she can't use Soul Hearts. At least not in the traditional way. She does use Soul Hearts, but not to increase her health. She actually uses them... To, uh, you, to fill that meter you see below my keys. You may have seen that at the corner of your eye. Now, I, I'm really gutted because I haven't found a key. And there's the uh, there's the door I wanted to go in. But that's fine. As long as we find a key. Actually, let me go check the very last room. By the way, you might be wondering. Okay, so she doesn't have soul hearts. That means you're restricted to just red health. And I think black hearts might count as something you can have on. I'm not sure. 
I haven't actually got many black hearts with Bethany yet, so I don't actually know if that is the way it works or not yet. But what her what her soul hearts actually do? Okay, that was just a sacrificial room. I could do it. Maybe I'd get a key, but I don't know. So what her soul hearts actually do is they regen or allow you to force use your item. So as you can see right now, I have a green bar of my use item and a bluer bar, one the same color as the soul hearts. And what this will allow us to do is use soul hearts to use use items instead. So when I've used it and the green bar goes down, I can use two more soul hearts to force use the item again. You get what I'm saying? So if it was something that required seven blips to be used, you would need seven soul hearts to use it again by force. Which is actually a really interesting trade-off for not getting the health out of soul hearts. It instead allows you to have ammo for your use item, which makes it really interesting for Bethany because she can have like a lot Oh, okay, we've got a key. Oh, but I'm gonna need to use that for the gold room. Oh well. Hopefully hopefully we'll uh hopefully we'll find another one. I would rather go to the new area than go to the gold room. To fully utilize what anti-birth has to offer though, it is advised that you have a Mega Satan kill. So if you haven't played Rebirth in a while, now might be the good time to load it up real quick and get your uh, get your old Satan kill on the old file because you're gonna need it. Or you can start fresh. I know a lot of people have started fresh. Now the nice thing about Afterbirth Plus coming out is Edmund did reach out to the creators of Antibirth and went, here are all the assets. We're gonna try and make the transition as smooth as possible. Make it so it works with Afterbirth Plus and Afterbirth. So now you'll be able to not only have Afterbirth and Afterbirth Plus, you'll also be able to have Antibirth, which means this game is gonna be so big. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Antibirth also adds because they've stated on their website that they're basically in early access. Like what we've downloaded this time, which we think is like perfect, is a really cool, intricate model full of stuff. Ooh, that's nice. Um, is actually to them a early access because they have so much more they want to add and that's really, really cool. That just means more stuff for Isaac, one of my favorite games just ever to play really it's just really fun you may also notice that when we collected one soul heart it actually counted as two on the meter so that's really good and we got an extra key so we'll be able to check out the new area when we get to it no i don't want these to be flamers no i can't open that even if i wanted to so oh hey, damn it that wasn't the item i was meant to use it worked out in my favor though i'm gonna get the bomb and that's it i'm not gonna open that because i don't want it to I'm going to use this because i got to remember to use this. It's good to use it when I have the power up because it means that I'll be able to have more turrets, which just means clearing rooms a bit easier considering these fire dudes actually get... They have low rate of fire, but once they stack up together and the fact they have spectral tears, it really stacks up. Like, it's really good. Yes! More ammo! More soul hearts! He uses ammo. So the other guy which we had available to us, which was Jacob and Esau, actually play really differently. Like, that's the nice thing about this mod so far, has been everything has felt like it's a pretty drastic change. No! Now you can also see the uh, the stat change in action. <clears throat> Though you should have seen that earlier, I think, as well. But uh, yeah, there's been some really interesting stuff added to this game, and it's so cool. It's so cool. And some pretty ridiculous combinations, too. Some of the Afterbirth items that were added in this, because this was actually being worked on when Rebirth was just on its own and not Anti-Birth. Uh, Afterbirth. Shit, I told you I was going to do that. Which means that some of the ideas that Afterbirth had actually were in this as well. So you'll find some similarities. Gemini! Oh no. The downside about having these guys as shields, these flames, is that they they make your hitbox way bigger. They block bullets and enemies as well, so you're gonna find yourself being hit and losing the flames more often than not. But that's fine. Hopefully we'll be able to beat this guy and keep our other flame. Yeah. Huh. But also, this missing HUD edition, when I started using it, was actually how I found out that being hit was a a way to lose the chance of a devil deal. 
Ah, no! No! Okay. I don't really like either of those, so no thanks. So, with our one key, we can open this door. Now, this door doesn't appear until I think you've beaten every boss in the game at least once, although I'm not 100% sure on that because I basically found myself... Um, for those who don't know, if you beat Gemini the other way around, little guy first and then big guy actually counts as a different defeat from when you do it the other way around, so I didn't have the cellar unlocked, which could have been, you know, when this was meant to trigger. It's complicated, but I think you just have to kill Mega Satan. But when you do, these other pathways will appear. Downpour 2. This is an entirely brand new area with brand new enemies to boot and brand new bosses too. And it's really interesting. I love it. Like you got these little leeches. They've got that head, which, well, its gimmick was when it got hit, it spun and shot out. You got these weird flies that specifically fly around you and shoot at you. Wow, I'm getting a lot of... All right, what we got? That wasn't the end of the world. Speed up. I don't like speed up that much, but hey, we'll deal. These guys are spewing out leeches. But it's just really cool. I love the effects as well, by the way. The lightning and the rain and the water and the reflection. It's all good. Really impressive stuff. Oh, sorry about that. Had to just uh, clear my throat for a minute there. As you can see, these guys are spewing, uh, farting out water, as well as making it rain water when they die, so. These guys are invisible, can only be seen in the water. And these are just normal, normal flies. Wow. So original game, normal flies, come on now. Oh yes, this. <laughs> Knife piece. So the thing about this, this particular mod is there's a hidden secret area that you might not get to right away. It requires a bit of work, as well as going through the actual game itself. But now I'm not gonna reveal how to do that in case some people are still trying to figure it out. But just know that there is a there is rooms in the game that require you to do special things to be able to get an item. Uh, and the item in question is quite noticeable or like quite guessable when you get the first piece of it, which is what I have. So that's not exactly a huge secret. Oh. Ah, stab, stab. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. That means my bombs are going to be really interesting. Oh, oh. This is also going to be a little odd with my controller because I'm not used to using the controller. So, here. Thankfully, I don't have too much range. Like, range is the worst thing for me in the knife. So, I'm also going to need some bombs. Oh, let me uh, go in the best room. Give me something good. Yes! Thank you. I'll also destroy you guys. Knives! Oh, it doesn't... It doesn't do knives. Sad. Bombs are key. That wasn't, that wasn't really what I wanted, but okay. Also, we've picked up a dead heart. I don't remember what that does. Zombie heart. I don't remember what that does. Mm. Oh, well. I guess we've got a lot of keys now, which is nice. Oh, I just had a thought. Wait, no, that might not matter. Okay, never mind. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Rainmaker! I kind of want to keep him alive a little bit so you can see what he does. Oh, dude. He dropped a lot of money. But he's really interesting. He's also the first custom boss. Well, not the, the first one, but the first one we've seen in the video. Okay, he died. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. Yes, I get very powerful. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. I'm like a little knight now. Look at me with my sword and shield. That is awesome. Okay, so the next door appears. Once you've beaten the second floor of a a room, let's say, of like a section, so the downpour, you'll have an opportunity to go into the next one, providing you have the items required. So this one requires us to have bombs. Needs us to bomb once, and then bomb again. And then we can head down even deeper. Into the mines. Now, this area is full of lava and gimmicks. 
The actual gimmicks of the area are pretty interesting. For example, this bomb. This bomb is a bomb that you can pick up and throw. Oh. <laughs> awesome. And I just got a bomb to be able to open this. Everything's working out me. Mystery medicine. Oh, I think I remember what this does. I think it changes my stats randomly as I go in a room. So this is pretty useful, I guess. Hiya! <laughs> Demacia! <laughs> But you've got new turrets. Like, these ones are going to... Well, I'll show you. Going to do that. And that looks really cool because it's, like, mixed with lava. And lava's a big point of this particular setup. Can we not with this, please? Oh, my God. This syringe is just killing my damage. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I should... Fuck. I keep forgetting to use this. I don't, it's interesting now that it, it's going to be the only form of shooting I have now is when I use these things. Because, oh, no, I don't want that. Okay, so I think this is, so it's like the fruitcake, except I think the fruitcake was an afterbirth thing. So this is what that does. But I'm going to get this because I like little Steven. Oh, arguably, though, probably should have got the other one because it would have made my knife a lot more fun. I'm, uh, I'm not too worried about losing out on a run for a bit of fun. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, bruh? Also, might want to go back and get that health. I don't know. Depends what this has. Meh. Three. Yeah, three. We'll do that three first. Not too bad. What's the pill? Range down. No. I mean, now I've got a short range stab. I can jab people. Huh? Oh, good thing I came in here. There's a an X rock. And I just have the bomb for it. Use that as well. So now we've got three of these things. So now we can we can shoot. Oh, no. The X-Rock attacks. <laughs> At least this will give me more opportunity to use my, my things, though. One sec. So, yeah. This will give me more opportunity to use my use item if I really want to. Meat spins. They're probably like meat wheels. They remind me of Kirby wheels a bit. But, <laughs> like, the chat and I like calling them meat spins now. Because of what they are and what they do. Man, I've got so much ammo. And the nice thing is, I'll be able to unload all this at one big go if I want to. So it'll be really cool to see. Let's just go in and fight Great Gideon. Oh, I was hoping we wouldn't get this guy. So this guy can't actually be hurt. Like, I can't hurt him. He is actually a unit rush boss. So he's going to spawn a bunch of units, and the only way to damage him is by killing said units. It's interesting, because I, I haven't seen a boss in Isaac do that. At least that I can remember. I don't, uh, I don't think it happens. Oh, I see. I always wondered, like, what what makes it so... Like, how do you tell which way the flames are going to go with those guys? Some eyes are closed and some have eyes open. I didn't actually notice that before. That makes a lot of sense now. Also, my face looks really bad. <laughs> it's just messed up, mate. It's just messed up. All right, one more wave should do it. He's getting a little more difficult because he's making the uh, the floor lose a bit of its structural integrity. Now I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to make sure that I used the was oh, this damage up? Yeah, okay, good. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, fuck. Use the wrong wrong thing again. I want to make sure that I don't use any of my soul hearts because I want to check. Well, I could technically use a few, but I want to check something because the way you go into the next area. Like, the next secret area is to give up soul hearts. I'm wondering if Bethany can do it. I assume she can, because that'd be a bit weird if they made it so she couldn't specifically. But I'm hoping that is the case. Oh, hey. Uh, I mean, I hope it is not the case, rather. <laughs> uh, ooh, itchy. Because that will give, uh, give me spiders, won't it? I don't know if it's on damage or if it's on kill. It's on kill, isn't it? Yeah. Yes! Oh, this will be good, I think. I like these. Eh. Eh. Guys, the minecarts are a dick. Hiya! Oh, maybe it's not on kill. Oh, no, it might be. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Also, I keep forgetting to use this. Ha! Ah, got, a, got a coin, even though we didn't need it. And occasionally, I'll just notice that I'm, like, super fast from the pill. Or not from the pill, from the syringe that we have. Which is, like, really putting me off sometimes. Ah! 
Nailed it. Nailed it. We did it. <laughs> did it, lads. Oh. Ha. Oh, yes. The lava dudes, the little guys that pop up out of the lava are really annoying purely because they like to shoot fire at you, which as a bullet user would be annoying. It's not so bad now. Oh, this is actually really good. Broken padlock. Bombs are key. It actually means that when we come across a door that requires a key and we don't have one, uh, we can bomb it open and it will count. So that's really, really good. That basically means that we have more options if we need them. Oh man, I am just wrecking these guys. There is some really powerful stuff in Anti-Birth that is quite, quite rare, I think. I feel like I don't get them that often. But there are certain items that just make some runs really fun to do. Also, for people who like to enjoy using the character editor, I do know that they have that set up now so it works in Afterbirth. I haven't tried it myself, but it did give me the option to use it in Afterbirth. So that might be worth giving it a go if you enjoy using that. As well as... Oh, might as well get this. Uh, as well as uh, being able to... Did I say I wasn't going to get the knife? <laughs> Whoops. Did I say it was a knife? I mean, it's not a knife. What are you on about? <laughs> I mean, um... Fuck it. You know what? Who cares at this point? <laughs> I mean, if you, if you really want to... If you really want to experience Afterbirth, or Antibirth, as it's meant to be, go and play it now. Don't, like, stop watching and go play it now. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying. Fuck. I hate myself. I hate it. Ah, I don't remember. All right, it's gone. I'm going to listen back to the video and be like, oh, right, okay. That's what I was going to say. Let's just go. Oh, yeah, this boss. Oh, man. This guy can be a pain. So he actually has three forms, three phases. And it all depends on uh, what eye he's using. So if we make him switch, we broke one eye. And he's using the other one. He gets a bit harder. But then again, I've also got the knife, which allows me to stay close. Do so much damage. Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, oh, the ammo. Okay, so let's see. Okay, it does take the hearts. It just takes four instead of two. So you need essentially two, just not, not two in the ammo. So next up is the mausoleum. Curse of the maze. Oh, no. Now, the mausoleum is really cool. In terms of design, I love the music. Speed up. I don't need that, but I'm going to get it anyway. I'm super fast. Oh, I can't even go anywhere else. It also has these really cool, like, teleport pads. I love the look of the place. It's just a good time all around. It's just got some really scary enemies. That, ah, that trade places with you. They whip you, and they beat you, and they tell you it's fair. Um... And some really odd variations of enemies we've seen before. Ah! Oh, God. Stop. I will stab you. I have so much ammo. And I keep forgetting to use it. I'll probably use it on, like, the next boss or something. The, the problem is I don't really need to use them because I have the knife. And the one time I'm going to find an item that really helps is going to be... Like, the one time I don't have any of my my ammo. It's really good for things like, you know, the, the, the things that either generate hearts or the things that give you shields. The Book of Revelations, for example. It's really good for that. They also get put out by fires, which makes sense. So, try and avoid those if you can help it. Oh, man. Those were the really annoying ones. Like, oh. No, wafer. Oh, my God. Why would I do anything other than the wafer? Jesus. I was about to I was about to go for something else there. Uh this. Whoa. So one of the things that I forgot to mention that this this particular mod likes to do occasionally, as you just saw there, is actually do things Oh god, these guys. Uh is actually do things that kind of have chain reactions. So like certain blocks that you destroy might destroy other blocks or you know, they might create pathways and stuff. It's really cool. Honestly, it's it's really interesting. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. This is a new item, I think. It's a strength bracelet. It allows you to pick up blocks. 
It's quite interesting. I like it. It has no cooldown either, so you can just pick up as many blocks as you want and throw them around. The heretic. I haven't seen this guy very much. Oh. What the fuck, mate? Oh my god. Whoa. Jesus. So he's like a variation on a, a haunt, I guess. Oh, whoa, 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 my god. Woo, woo. Jesus Christ, man. So as you can see, custom bosses, pretty interesting. Though, you don't get to see a lot of them right now because I'm a bit broken, but still. Bar of soap. That's nice, I guess. Can't really use it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll get the items that you get for doing the puzzles, but I won't let you... F I won't show you the uh, solutions to the puzzles. Ha ha ha! There has to be some mystery. <laughs> Ruin it all. <laughs> then again, I am showing off the mod, and I would, uh, I would highly suggest if you play Isaac, enjoy Isaac at all, that you come and check it out, because it's really cool. It's so good. Oh man, I could really abuse this. Da 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 da. Yeah, buddy. Da, da, da. Ow! So that allowed us to get quite a lot of charge. It's actually one of the new slot machines that this game offers. Oh, wow. Which allows you to get charge for money, which is actually incredibly useful, especially with something like this. <laughs> I'm allowed to get a lot of turrets. All right, so we have quite a few to use. Ooh, death. Clubs. Sure. More bombs! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, ho ho! Might as well use this. Oh, nice! Yay, and I get another use? Sure. Now, we've got so many that it now starts to go around the outside, and that's why I'm like, wow, you can get a lot. <laughs> you can get a lot. Don't even have to use the knife. Oh, so powerful. Look at this. The downside is, of course, that it's a giant... Oh, God, that guy's riding it. What? It gives you a giant hitbox for the shielding, anyway. Oh, is that rubber bullets? I won't even get to use that. Oh, so it. I'll do it anyway. I won't even be able to use that, though. It's a shame it doesn't affect the fires, but then again, I guess that'd be a little broken. Oh, these guys suck. They whip you from across the room. They whip you right in. Uh, yeah. Uh, I can't afford any of this. Because I used all my money in the previous room. Never mind. It's fine. We don't need it. It's okay that we go without the shop for a bit. What? You can also use the flames as like a direct hit thing if you want. So you can get right in there and use the fire to... Uh, to do the damage. So these are guys. These guys are like variations on the guys with the brains behind their head it falls out of them when you hit them and acts like um the ones with the the hearts and the skulls or whatever it is oh these guys suck they shoot fire and they're not good they're not fun all right i think we've explored quite a lot of it although i do need to find one other thing before i go because that'll allow us to get to the the other area I need to find a room, a big room. Might be this one. Might be this one up here. But I don't know if I want to... There we go, yeah. Uh... So now we have the knife, which is a little familiar that follows us around as he likes to go and stab things. So I'm a, I have a knife, and I have a knife. Two knives. I like playing with knives, I guess. And this will allow us to enter a secret area. But, uh, what was- Ah, oh, fuck. I'm just really bad at remembering what I was gonna say today. <laughs> like, I was gonna say something else, but I can't remember. This mother fight, because we're in the mausoleum, is actually different, too. It was summon new stuff. It has laser eye vision. As well as a new stomp move, if we allow her to use it. Oh, God. But I don't think she's gonna get much chance. Nope. <laughs> Didn't get much chance at all. I guess I'll take one of these. It doesn't matter. We don't use it. Oh, uh, I'll get this. Tears up. All is forgiven. Yay. Wow. Does it make all of my soul hearts into... Whoa. That's that's ridiculous. 
So there's there's two new types of hearts in this. You got zombie hearts and like these other sacred hearts essentially, which um if you take half damage, which you will because it forces you to take half damage when you have one of these white hearts. Uh, if you have half a heart left and beat the room, it refills the heart. It's really cool. So now we've used the knife to open the door to mum's heart. And in here, it's a lot more deadly, let me tell you. I'm also going to use death just to speed things along a little. But this heart is a, a lot more, has a lot more fight in it. But then again, I also have a knife and also a shield, so it don't really matter. <laughs> Except I'm dying. I'm dying, Squirtle. Wait, everything seems rather dark. Oh. What is... What is this? What could this be? Usually you would go to the womb. But we've already killed the heart. So what happens when we explore something that is no longer living? Welcome to the corpse! This is fucking weird because now there's zombies everywhere! <laughs> hey, my favorite! You know what else is my favorite? You know those turrets that really are quite annoying? Because you can't hit them unless they're, like, revealing themselves? How about ones that move around and do that? Right? Yeah, yeah! I love it too! <laughs> right? Ugh. By love it, I mean hate it. So, this is the corpse. I also don't expect to win this run, just so you're aware. Because <laughs> I've seen the final boss. Oh. <laughs> oh. I've beaten it. That's the way you unlock Jacob and Esau, but... Man, that was lucky. I did not win because I was good. <laughs> I just got really broken. And that was it. What the fuck? I didn't know what that was. I didn't necessarily want to let it go. Oh, gas. Oh, no. I don't actually know what that does. I think it poisons you. Huh. This also is a really disturbing place with all the zombies and, like, the weird music going on. But, oh, yeah. What with... I think this is what I was actually going to talk about. What with Afterbirth Plus coming out? I don't know whether you guys want me to play Anti-Birth or Afterbirth Plus a bit on the channel. Or maybe, like, cycle both. Like, do an episode of, of Afterbirth Plus and then an F episode of Anti-Birth. Tell me what you think in the comments, because I am curious. I'd like to do content for both, because they're both really cool. Well, I assume Anti Afterbirth Plus... Sorry, I'm going to get that mixed up a lot. I assume Afterbirth Plus is going to be really cool. But uh, I want to play it anyway, because I pretty much have done that for the channel. No point in me going around anywhere else on this, so... It's a Chimera! It's a combination of other enemies we've seen throughout the game. Which is really weird when you think about it. It's made of like a Gertie Jr. A, 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 a dude... Ah, fuck. Quick! Use all the things! All of them! Go! <laughs> I wanted to see how this works, because I have to very much stay alive. I have no... Oh. Oh? What the fuck is that? I know what the other one is, which yeah, would be good, but what is this? Splash Ball of Tears. Let's try it out. So that refills on me using tears? Interesting. Hmm, I like it. Let's keep it. Let's try it out. We might not win, but you know what? I'll keep it. I'm getting a lot of angel rooms. Also, I noticed that one of my little soul things is like super powered, I guess. Is that what? Oh, no, that room sucks. If I go through there, I have to be quick or else I'm going to lose out a lot of my turrets. Abundance. Okay. That's good. We can use this. It's just so creepy with all the blood and the the dark atmosphere. Ugh. It's just so weird. 
Also, the, the music is super eerie. I, I don't know how else to say it. It's like got that odd oddness to it. Odd oddness. That's what I'm going to say. Odd oddness. <laughs> I should use abundance if I find any. Oh, God. What is this? What is that setup? That was ass. What the hell? Uh, okay. That isn't going to be the way to the boss. Maybe this way? Nope. And that, that's just, that's just, that's just death. Huh. Uh, okay, so these guys don't look like they affect my fire things, which is good. I think I lost one. Alright, so. I'm glad we made it this far. Because you're about to see what the final boss is. So, again, this is your opportunity. If you don't want to know what this is. I'm having a lot of friends today. Do not watch. I'm probably going to die because I only have two hearts. Let's go. The Witness. And the camera zooms out like crazy for this boss, by the way. Oh, what the fuck? He can summon dudes? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have a lot of power inside Mum's heart here. Mum's heart. Mum's knife. But... I can't promise that that's going to be enough to get me to be able to win. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Phase one down. Oh, we do a lot of damage, don't we? You know, I kind of wish I got that speed up now. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Oh, no. Uh, uh, uh. We also have a shield that I keep forgetting about. No! So close! No! Oh, oh well, so that was, that was a witness. That was a final boss. Okay, wasn't expecting to get there, honestly, but... There you go! That's anti-birth. There's some really cool stuff. I wouldn't mind doing a few more runs. Obviously, it's not going to be of me unlocking things throughout the game, but... Hey, if you want to check out new characters or some of the challenges the game has to offer... Again, comment below about it. I'll check it out. I hope you enjoyed. Give the mod a download. Remember, it uses rebirth, not afterbirth. So it's completely separate. It won't take over your save. It won't mess anything up. And by this time, you probably don't use rebirth. But even if you do, it's worth installing anyway, because it's really good. So I hope you enjoyed. Throw us a like if you did. Tell me what you think of anti-birth, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Okay, thanks. Bye. Come on!